I made some animal-human hybrids, and I'm going to show them to you. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about some paintings that I made. These were made back in 2014, and this style of painting, this animal-human hybrid on this kind of squiggly background, is the first type of painting I ever really made. As a kid, I loved to doodle and draw and paint like a lot of kids do, but I didn't take that seriously as I got older. It wasn't really until my 20s that I started painting again. I like to say it was thanks to a dear friend of mine, Pam, I'm looking at you, who encouraged me to paint and made me rediscover how much I love painting. She commissioned me to paint something for her and she said I could paint anything I wanted. I was super nervous. I wanted it to be good and I wanted her to be happy with what I made. Ultimately, it worked out really well. I'm still painting today partly because of that, so thank you, Pam. Many of the first paintings I made were animal-human hybrids. Now, why was that on my mind? It's hard to say exactly. I can't say I have any specific recollection of an inspiration, but I love animals and I've loved animals ever since I was a little kid and I've been vegan for many years and I think that's probably why animals make their way into a lot of my work. After I painted a lot of those larger animal-human hybrid pieces, I wanted to make my first series of paintings, a cohesive series. So I went to the art supply store and for the first time I got several canvases all in the same size at the same time. So these are 16 by 20 inches and I originally bought four canvases to make four paintings. Charlie the pig, Lise the cow, Bluebird, and Tito the tiger. I got to work and I painted those four pieces and that was the first time I didn't have a predetermined outlet for them because they weren't commissions, but I still wanted them to be seen. So I noodled on that for a few days, trying to figure out how I could show them, and I ultimately came to the realization that there were a lot of cafes in the neighborhood where I lived at the time. I was in New York in the East Village, and both the East Village and the neighboring area, the Lower East Side, have a bunch of cafes. So I started going into these cafes and speaking to the owners, kind of looking at what they had on their walls, seeing if it could be a fit for my work, asking if they would show these paintings. A cafe on the Lower East Side called Rosella said yes. So I brought in my pieces and I hung them on the wall and I was so excited. It's my first exhibit and I put up my name next to the pieces and my contact information. Now I don't remember how long the pieces hung there. We had a predetermined time that they would hang there and if they didn't sell, I'd come take them down and they didn't sell. So I came and I took them down, but I still felt really good about it. Now right around that time, another cafe that I had reached out to much earlier, but hadn't heard back from yet, ended up writing me and saying that they had space and were wondering if the pieces were still available and if I wanted to show them there. So I was stoked. That was Think Coffee in the East Village on the corner of Bowery and Bleecker Street. I ended up going in and hanging my pieces and putting up my little contact information again and that was that. And not that long after I hung the pieces there, I received an email. It was from a woman who had seen the pieces and she was interested in buying two of them, the bird and the tiger. And she said the reason she was interested is because the bird and the tiger reminded her of two of her three sons. Now she wanted to buy a third piece for her third son, but the remaining two options, the pig or the cow, didn't feel like the right fit for her son. So she was wondering if I would be willing to take a commission and paint a dog for her third son. Of course I said yes, that was such a fun and awesome opportunity, so I ended up painting the painting that's called Checkered Beagle for her to complete a trio of paintings for her three sons. Now this was back in 2014, and since then my painting has expanded and developed in different directions, but a few years ago when I relocated from New York to California, I was still in this animal-human hybrid mindset and I ended up creating a few more pieces on that theme. Like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And that's something I made. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.